Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So before we get started on your reading, I do want to let you guys know that I will be doing private phone call readings today, Friday, June 9th. So if you're interested, definitely check out the description box. I'll put all the information that you'll need to get a reading. Okay, let me go ahead and light this candle here just to set the mood. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. As always, please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. Know that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Channeled message reading. Channeled message reading. You have coffin. What is the message for someone out there? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this message. Mature man. Hmm. Coffin, mature man. Let's see if we can get one more. Mature woman. Okay, the mature man, mature woman, they're typically partners or suitors in some way. Uh, mature man could be an empress, I mean, <laughs> empress, mature woman, or mature man translates to the emperor in the other classic decks that we use, and the mature woman translates to the empress, okay? So coffin represents death and ending, okay? Something that's sealed and just done with. So let's see what's going on here. Coffin, mature man, mature woman. Holy Spirit, tell us more. Yeah, didn't I say it? The Empress came out. Who is the mature woman? To, oops, let's do that again. Tell us more. If I can shuffle. Tell us more about this message. The horror font. Tell us more about this message here. Just more about this message. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. There is an incredible feminine energy here. I'm just being honest. Okay. This woman, she stands out. She is an empress. Like you can tell when someone is an empress. Just from the way they carry themselves, their energy, their demeanor, their aura, their spirit. Um, the Empress is well respected. The Empress is the most powerful woman. Um, the Empress could even represent the, the energy of the divine feminine. She's loving, she's caring, she's nurturing, she's motherly, she's abundant, she's wise, she's fruitful, fertile, she's artistic, she's creative. She's all four queens put together, right? Like it's a woman, a woman who is truly a treasure. And again, the Empress is someone who people know when they encounter an Empress. Um, very hard to find, like a hidden gem, right? The one that if you find her, you treasure her. The Hierophant is here. The Hierophant, yes, it could represent like big institutions, okay? Organizations and corporations, government. Um, it could also represent power and influence, like people who are in a leadership position. But the Hierophant could also symbolize marriage or um, a commitment, right? Then we have the Nine of Pentacles that's here. That There's an Empress here who I feel has connected herself with another outside. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I get it now. There's an Empress here who, it's like I see a woman in a place and she, where she was highly influential. Like the empress comes in, everyone's like, oh, boss lady is here. The mother is here, right? The matriarch is here. Um, the divine feminine is here. Her presence was highly felt. This is the kind of woman where she walks into a building and everyone makes sure that they're on their best behavior if they're smart, right? If you're stupid, you'll try it. You'll try an empress and very soon after regret it. If you're, if you're smart, you'll be on your best behavior around these sorts of people. But I see a very influential woman in an area 
And I mean, she's everything. Look at her here as a nine of pentacles, right? She, first of all, the Hierophant, she's a leader. She's a counselor. She's an advisor. She inspires people. She touches the lives of people. She's warm. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's abundant. She's the nine of pentacles. She stands out for so many reasons. And by the way, the Empress is very beautiful as well. But the nine of pentacles is someone who, when, when people see you as the nine of pentacles, they see you as someone who, who has it all, okay? Someone who, um, like you have the accomplishment, the success, the brain, the beauty, everything. Um, imagine one person acquiring nine out of 10 pentacles. Like, can you imagine, right? You're surrounded by abundance in press and people see it. Um, now there's some sorrow here because it seems like this empress has been at a current place where she's very influential there. She's, she's an eye catcher there, but now she's moving away from that place. There's an ending and she's going to another place. I feel like this, imp this empress has given her energy to another person, place, or thing. She is establishing herself in a different place, a new place. And this new place, they already see that she's an empress. The people there already know. This, this woman carries a very strong energy. Her presence is, is strong. It can be felt. Okay? This is someone where you, you meet them or you see them. And even if you don't know them, you know that, oh, like that, that's someone. That's not just a typical person. That is someone. Um, that's someone important. She's already established herself energetically, spiritually in a new place with new people. And I feel like this new place and these new people are just thrilled to have an empress. It's an honor. It's like hosting a guest, right? Hosting an honorable guest. Um, and they're already making accommodations to make sure that she's comfortable. They, These new people want her there. So, you know, for some of you who this message is resonating with, it could be a job, a company that knows your value, knows your worth. And it's, it's, a, it's an honor to have you work with them, collaborate with them. For some of you, you may be relocating. And this new area, they know that you're someone important and they're, they're accommodating you. They're making sure that this works out, that you're comfortable there. You know, lots of moving around for this uh, particular feminine energy. And Spirit is saying, all is well. Her new place is going to be, it's going to be close to perfect. She's going to settle there very well. Because Spirit has already been preparing this new place for her. She just needed, Spirit is saying, she just needed to sign. Give, put, she just needed to write her, uh, put her signature down. That signature, it's a spiritual signature and it's her way of telling spirit, yes, this is what I want. Spirit had already prepared a new place for this empress, but she needed to finalize it by giving approval and saying, yes, this is what I want. So she has signed it. That's all. The empress is home. Every, anywhere that the empress goes, she can make it a home. It is, it is an honor to have the empress or an emperor in your, in your space, in your environment. The emperor, especially being a father, father figure, the establisher, the builder, the engineer, a very important man. Um, and so again, divine feminine, spirit is saying that people know who you are right? By your essence, your vibration, your aura, your energy. You're someone important. And wherever you choose to establish yourself, people are going to be very, very pleased to have you there. Now, there is an ending. There is an ending that a mature woman and a mature man are going through. I do want to look at this mature man, the four of pentacles. He's very guarded, the world. Looks like he's going through an ending as well. Mature man. King of Swords. Tell us about this mature man. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Four of Pentacles. It could represent someone who's guarded. And especially him being the King of Swords. 
This man could be uncomfortable wherever he's at. He knows that something's not right. It's like he knows that he has to be vigilant. He has to be alert at all times. He's uncomfortable. I feel it. And even here at the Eight of Swords, he's constantly in his head, right? Maybe there's even some paranoia here, but perhaps he has his reasons. Maybe he knows that he's not in the right place. And maybe he's being called to move, make changes as well. The world represents a successful completion. He is ready for something to end. Hmm. He's completing a chapter, a cycle in his life. Tell us about this mature man. We have two both important energies showing up in the reading. So tell us about this mature man. What can we know about this mature man? Tell us about this mature man. So, three of cups, two of pentacles. It has to do with his affiliations is what I'm seeing. This man could have gotten kind of, uh, he could have gotten connected to the wrong people, the wrong group, something about affiliation. And then two of pentacles is juggling. What happens here? Three of queen of wands. Nine of wands. Hmm. There's someone here, Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands. I feel like he got connected to the wrong person, someone who wasn't a good influencer. Okay. Queen of Wands, as passionate and ambitious and attractive as she can be, sometimes they come with trouble. Sometimes the King and Queen of Wands, they're very passionate, bold ambitious people but they can come with a whole lot of drama this queen of wands looks like she, looks like she's going through difficulties with the nine of wands okay or maybe this queen of wands put this mature man in a difficult a difficult spot what's his story let me see here what's his story seven of cups Uh, King of Wands. Oh. This King of Wands was a target. She targeted this man. This this Queen of Wands comes with a whole lot of drama. I, I do see that. But it's like she was very attracted to this King of Wands. She was very attracted to this King of Wands. She saw him. Maybe she thought that she can get an opportunity from this man. What is this here? Yeah. I feel like she wanted something romantic from this man. Knight of Cups. But but it's like an, an, in an opportunistic way. Okay? Yeah. She's like, what can fill my cups? How can I use this man to get what I want? This woman may even be disturbed in some way, the way she's showing up with the Knight of Wands. She could be a little bit disturbed, but she definitely saw someone here, a very attractive man. She's wondering how, she's like, hmm, this man's attractive. I, I feel like this man is very pleasing to the eyes. He may have like, you know, like, like what is that saying? Um, tall, dark, and handsome, right? That's the kind of man that I see here. And I feel like she definitely wanted a cup from him. Okay, she definitely wanted him to be interested in her. All right. Okay, because she's looking at him as, okay, what can I get from him? All right, and then what happened? So he definitely got connected to the wrong person who comes with trouble. Okay. Then what happened? Three of Wands, teamwork. The both of them with the Three of Wands... Look, three of wands through source. The both of them started to work together. 
I feel like these two are troublemakers though. They're, they, they resonate with each other, but in a negative way. I feel like the two of them are troublemakers. They may even be bad, you know? And when I say bad, like, they don't mind breaking the law a little bit to get what they want. There's something here. I feel like she introduced him to a lifestyle or introduced him to something. And he said, yeah, he said, yes, he went for it. Three of wands, but it's a three of wands, not even a three of pentacles. So I don't feel like it was a regular collaboration or working together. I feel like this is something that comes with a lot of drama. They were the two of them were up to no good with the three of wands. And it ended out, it ended up in heartbreak, disappointment, three of swords. Whatever they plan, it, it's like Bonnie and Clyde. Like there's something about this king and queen of wands where you know, whatever it was that they were working together on, it wasn't a three of pentacles where it's like, let's work together and collaborate with others. It's one of those things where, where she introduces a really bad agenda and he's like, yeah, let's go for it. That's how it feels. But in the end, they ended up disappointed. It didn't work. I feel like these two people are very uh, superficially good looking. But on the inside... They're not that that pleasing. Look, on the inside, they are the devil. Wow. It's like a handsome devil and a beautiful devil. And that's how they catch people. That's how they, they lure people, by their, their physical appeal. Okay? That's how they, they tempt people. Okay? That's how they get people to lust after them. That's how they manipulate people. By how attractive they are. They are the devil. On the inside, they're beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, they are the devil. Wow, they are toxic, abusive, manipulative. Wow. So they resonate with each other. Right? They resonate with each other. Yeah, they were doing something here for money. The Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. The both of them are users. I don't feel like there's a genuine interest that they had it, had in each other, but because the both of them had a mutual agenda or goal, they decided to stick together and work together. The Seven of Swords, that's the lying, cheating to win, manipulating, stealing, sabotaging. They're very self-serving, okay? None of them are innocent. They resonate with each other. The Ace of Pentacles, it definitely has to do with finances, work, okay? Um, I feel like these two people want to make a lot of money. These are very superficial people. They're very surface level. And, when, and they want people to see them for how they superficially look. Like they want people to look at them as rich people, attractive people. There's a look that they're going for. I feel like these people want money with the Ace of Pentacles. Yep. That's what they were doing. Like, how can we hustle? How can we make money? That sort of thing. And then what happened? And then they could have seen, let me see here. What is this? The Emperor. They could have seen an emperor. Oh, they did. Okay. They saw an emperor. So I assume this king of wands isn't the emperor, but he's uncomfortable. The emperor is uncomfortable because he ended up in a situation with these two people. Let me ask, is the emperor, is the mature man the king of wands? Yes or no? No, four of swords. Is the mature man the king of wands? Is the mature man the king of wands? No. King of wands is different. The, the mature man is already well established. King of Wands is trying to be where the mature man is. King of Wands is trying to be where the emperor is. He wishes that he was as established as the emperor. So here we have an emperor here who's connected to a Ten of Pentacles, some sort of business empire or wealthy family. Okay. Justice. 
justice, something with legalities, four of swords, What's going on here? What's for close for? Justice for swords. I feel like there was a partnership that they wanted with this emperor. This 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 emperor is connected to a business empire, some sort of wealth. Okay, but how are they? How did the emperor get connected to these two people? How did the emperor get connected to these two people? The high priestess. How did the emperor get connected? I'm like, fill us in, spirit. Fill us in. The high priestess of five of cups. Who's this high priestess? There's a high priestess here. Someone who's very intuitive, very discerning. They can see through deception. They're here as a five of cups, crying over spilled milk, feeling very regretful because they know the truth about something. Ace of swords, the truth and clarity. I think these two people try to target a high priestess. Or how did they get connected? Let me, let me see here. How did this emperor get connected to this king of wands, queen of wands? That's what I'm trying to understand. Two of cups. I, I'm telling you, one of them, this king of wands, queen of wands, dumb and dumber over here who do bad things together, one of them took an interest in a high priestess who I feel regrets, this high priestess regrets ever being interested in one of them because she now sees the truth. There was some sort of romantic partnership that the high priestess had with one of these two people, king of wands, queen of wands. It's what I'm trying to say. But, but the high priestess sees the truth. She realizes that this king of wands, queen of wands, whichever one that they were with, isn't who they say they are. They are not who they say. Like this high priestess could have felt a romantic connection with either a king of wands and a queen of wands. Okay. But it was all, it wasn't real. This king of wands, queen of wands are false people. They're users. They're bad. The high priestess knows the truth now. But but they had an one of these two people had an interest in a high priestess. Look, the lovers. There was some sort of soulmate connection there. Okay, but I feel like this is a bad soulmate for this high priestess. And then what happened? I feel like they wanted to use this high priestess. Yep. I feel like, for example, if this high priestess is a woman, then she most likely had a connection, a romantic connection with a king of wands who didn't have a true interest in her and may have just wanted sex from her, to be honest, because ace of wands is here. If this high priestess is a man, he most likely felt a connection to a queen of wands, to the queen of wands. They're both connected. But what I'm saying is if the high priestess is a man, he most likely got connected to the queen of wands. But she's just, she uses sex to manipulate people. To manipulate people, just like how the king of wands uses sex to manipulate people. That's how they control people and use them. I feel like this king of wands is a really bad guy and this queen of wands is a really bad woman. I feel like these two people are on the hunt to make money, but from like scamming people or exploiting people. Somehow there's an emperor here, right? There's an emperor here who's connected to a business empire. This high priestess, there's something about this high priestess. And I want, so is the high priestess the empress? Yes or no? Is the high priestess the empress? 
I guess that's a yes. Yeah, that's a yes. That's a yes. Okay. And maybe even the two of them could have had a relationship. Look, Wheel of Fortune, they were destined to cross paths. Now you can be destined to cross paths with someone and to learn a lesson from them, but it's up to you whether or not you want to move the connection forward and make it a relationship or just a friendship. It's up to you. We all have free will, okay? Um, but they were destined to meet each other. And look at the Four of Wands. It really could have... It could have progressed into a relationship, but I, I promise you there's a king and queen of wands here who are trouble. There is a king of wands who I feel, these two people remind me of Bonnie and Clyde. I feel like they went to some sort of wealthy area with the 10 of pentacles. They could have, what they do is they pretend to be wealthy. And they make an appearance in wealthy areas. Like they'll go to a wealthy community, a wealthy neighborhood, a wealthy establishment, institution, company, business. And really, they don't have that kind of money, but they dress like it in order to trick people and connect themselves to real wealthy people. These people are opportunists. This king of wands, queen of wands, they are opportunists. And they want to get, it's like they want to get rich fast. I feel like when they had visited a ten of pentacles, some sort of, some sort of business empire, okay? Or a wealthy community, whatever, or a wealthy family, they will show up there and they prey on people like a predator. They're looking for other, they're looking for real wealthy people to scout an opportunity from. Literally, that's what it is. And somehow, and you know, the Empress is very, the Empress is, had, this, the Empress lives in this area. Look at her, Nine of Pentacles. That's a successful, independent woman. Hierophant. Someone who's powerful and influential, the empress, abundant, like, I'm telling you, one of these people, when they visit it, it's like, a, it's like a routine. It's all a trick. I'm seeing this clearly. It's all a trick. They show up in affluent places. They'll show up dressed up. They, they will, they may even rent like a luxury car because they're trying to blend in and make people think that they're wealthy. They may even pretend to have bodyguards. <laughs> That's like, these are clowns. That's what they do. These are false people. Even salt looks like sugar. They steal from people. They rob people. So they showed up at this affluent place, Ten of Pentacles, and of course, they notice an empress. The money, the wealth, the abundance is all, is all over her. And they're like, that's our target. They're like, that's our target. I don't know if they saw her. Th these, like... It's like some sort of scam. They may even have, like, this is this, whatever this wealthy, this affluent area is, they may know people there. Like maybe one of the workers. When one of the workers finds, uh, finds a visitor or a client who has money, that worker will alert this king and queen of wands. It's like a whole procedure that I'm seeing here. So what this is teaching this empress is be watchful, be vigilant, and be discerning. Not everything is as it, as it appears to be. And protect yourself physically, spiritually, energetically. Protect the blessings that God has blessed you with. 
because the, the devil is jealous. And he will want to steal it, take it, rob you. Protect your blessings. Don't be naive. There's something, how did they find out about this? This. Um, how did they find out about this? Uh, look, five of wands. I tell you, they have, it's a whole, it's a, how do you call this thing? It's like a whole procedure. What There's an affluent place that this empress either lives at, attends, visits, maybe as a client, a member, whatever. They have workers, employees at this place who are doing underhanded things. And when these employees or staff members, when they, when they see the, you know, the new person, right, who has money, they will alert this king and queen of wands. And I'm not saying all of the employees do it. I feel like it's a business empire, some sort of affluent place. So there's a bunch of people going in and out. It's just a few people who are, it's like an operation, So somehow, because look, I don't even feel like they, I take it back. I don't feel like they met this empress, but I feel like someone told them, someone told them about this empress. You know what, what this is reminding me of? The, look, it's reminding me of the, the, the what is it? The thief card. Look, it's a wealthy man walking down a street and they're stealing from his pocket. Look at this woman with her breast out, this little boy trying to take, take something from him. That's how it is. God is trying to show someone that you are valuable. And so guard yourself. Guard yourself. Don't just be out here, you know, be vigilant. Because the enemy is prowling and just waiting for an opportunity to take from you. God has blessed you. So now it's your duty to protect your blessings. Right? There's another, I think it's the uh, wisdom no, it's the light seers tarot deck. And you see the four of pentacles. The woman has the, the coins in her purse and she's holding on to it. She's holding on to it so that no one would steal it from her. This was a whole scheme. This was a whole scheme going on. Like this was an organized crime going on. These two people connected themselves. They had connections to people. I feel like it's the employees or some of the employees, some of the staff. And to you business owners who watch, who are watching this, be careful too. Be attentive to the people who you're hiring. Watch them because they could be running an operation within your operation. <laughs> you know, they're working for you, but then they have their own little side hustle mm -hmm, under the table. So there's outsiders involved. I don't feel that maybe they did meet this empress or maybe someone told them about this empress because look, five of wands, outsiders helping them. And look, the outsiders have the wands again. They have the wands again. Right? Because they're connected to this king and queen of wands. These are troublesome people. Now, This mature man and this mature woman, they were destined to cross paths, maybe to help one another or assist one another or be together. Not everyone who you cross paths with are you meant to be romantic with. Okay, but the four of wands, it's a successful partnership. They're meant to help each other in some way, shape or form.
Now, this emperor here, okay, there's a reason why this emperor has his sword up. He's uncomfortable. I'm telling you, this empress is the high priestess who crossed paths with this mature man who may be the owner, the builder, something. He's connected to this Ten of Pentacles. And she's aware, this empress is the high priestess. She's aware of this underhanded scheme going on. And it has made this mature man very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Which is why he has, he's guarded, four of pentacles, as he should be. Guarding himself. He's trying to complete, he may have already completed this cycle. He may have said, you know what? Something's not right in this ten of pentacles. Let me make some changes. He's also here as the king of swords. He's being the authority figure that he needs to be in order to get the situation under control. But he's attentive. He's aware now. He's alert. Wow. So what are these two people meant to do? The mature man and the mature woman. What are they meant to do? Eight of Cups. They're meant to, they, maybe they're meant to walk, walk away from this Ten of Pentacles. Oops. What are they meant to do? Mature woman, temperance. Yeah. They're meant to, everything is fine. They're meant to walk away from this chaos, the Five of Swords, and leave this behind. Let bygones be bygones. This place may not be for them. This place has criminals, underhanded, unethical people. The Eight of Cups walking away. Yeah, leaving a past investment behind so that they can get their peace because perhaps their peace was being disturbed. Let them get their peace and harmony. Yeah, let them go to a better area. Right? That's safer. That's more secure. Yeah. A quieter place, perhaps. The hermit. Where they have their privacy. And people aren't prowling on them. The opportunist. Yeah, that's what they're called to do. Get out of this area. Let me see here. King of Pentacles. There's a much better area for them. King of Pentacles is all about security and stability. I feel like it's the new area. Whether it's a new area, company, building, location, it's going to be different for everyone, but it's much better for you. Um, because the current area that these two people are in, there's a lot of falseness. The star. This is this new place. Excuse me. This new place is where the two of them are going to just prosper like never before. That's probably why the enemy tried to attack them. The enemy saw that these two people are abundant. Right? But if they're able to get out of the situation and move to this new place, I'm telling you, it's going to be like double the blessing, triple the blessing. They're going to prosper even more. Hmm. I'm curious to know who this mature man is. King of Cups. Wait, who is this mature man? I'm curious. You may know, Empress. 
Who is this mature man? Page of Swords. This mature man is showing up as a king of cups. He could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone who, king of cups is very compassionate. Um, very emotionally in tune. Page of swords. This person may be curious about you even. Who is this mature man? What can we know about who this mature man is? The hangman. Six of Pentacles. The Hangman. Hangman is all about awakenings or letting go. Some of you may know I'm trying to see if the two of you know each other or the, are these just two people who found themselves in the wrong place, you know? Courthouse, who is this mature man? Who is this mature man? Concern, who is this mature man? Wait. For some of you, like, you know who this mature man is. For some of you. For the other half of you, this is somebody who has passed away. And they're just with you. Guarding you. Guiding you. Protecting you. For some of you, this is a father. This is a father or father figure. Look, child. You're the child. They're the father or father figure. They've been concerned about you. Being in this place. And then courthouse. Courthouse. Let me see here. Oh, wow. They're concerned about some sort of contract or contractual agreement that you found yourself in. And it's probably connected to this place. This negative place here that you found yourself in. Like, did you sign a contract? Like... Is it like some sort of contract to work in this place or um, to live in this place? Like, is it like a lease, a mortgage or something? Um, it's like they're, they're telling you to be more careful. Be more cautious. Be more wise. Courthouse is all about contracts and documents. They're not happy with a partnership, like like something here that, you know, it's connected to this place. For some of you, yeah, community. I can't make this up. Be careful, be careful with, with contracts, like, like who you commit to or where you commit yourself to, because contracts are binding. You know, you 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 agree to something, you sign something. And so it puts you in a false partnership with this false place. Don't just discern people, but discern places. Discern people, places, and things. Discern the, the, the community that you choose to live in, the company that you choose to work for, the lover that you choose to be romantic with, the friend who you want to be platonic with. Discern. Don't just be captured by what how things look or how things appear. Even salt looks like sugar. But we all learn. It's it's what you call trial and tribulation. For some of you, you know who this mature man is. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you know who this mature man is. For others of you, this mature man is someone who has passed away. Coffin. 
But when I tell you, this is what people don't understand. When our loved ones pass, pass away, they become even more strong in the spirit. This man is right there with you. He is guarding you and protecting you. This man does not play about you. And I feel like he was fighting these people off because you were a target for them. This king and queen of wands. Fighting. He was fighting for you. He was fighting a spiritual uh, battle on your behalf. Be careful with contracts. Be careful. Contracts are binding. Look, family room. This ha The family room card is like an office space or an apartment unit. <laughs> it's a lesson. Occupation is here. There's occupation. And then look, house. There's something here about, let me see, occupation. This has to be someone's father, grandfather, godfather, um, uncle, older brother. Occupation and thoughts. Wait. You are an official person who was in a community of unofficial people, criminals, illegitimate people. You weren't with people who are like you. You weren't with your crowd. Yeah, it's like he's saying that there are two, two types of people, two groups of people. The official ones, the legitimate ones versus the ones who are out here plotting, scheming, and manipulating the con artists. And they present themselves to be official, but they're not. Like he wants you to be aware of those two groups of people. Wow. Yeah, especially when it comes to like what people do for a living, like occupation, thoughts, official person. These are people who don't want to work ethically to be official, to be successful. They want to be scamming and doing criminal activities. What I say, false people. Wow. Yeah, you're in the wrong area. But even as you were in this area, God still protected you shielded you from these thieves. This is all a lesson. It's all experience. You're going to be a lot more careful next time. Yeah, you are. Trial and tribulation, you learn. And you just get better and better and better as you learn these lessons. Wisdom doesn't just happen overnight. It doesn't. Yeah. Yeah takes time. It's time to leave. Journey and house. It's time to get out of this place. And for many of you, when you leave this place, that's when the tower will come crashing down. Whatever these people have been doing, karma is not going to strike because you're still in this place. You need to be far away. For so, for some of you, um, it's definitely time to like, like journey. Like you see how this man's about to board a train. It's time to pack up and leave. Um, whether it's a job, company, location, it's time to pack up and go. Because that's how you end up getting in trouble for something you didn't do. What, what do they call it? Wrong place, wrong time. I've seen that. I've seen people go to jail just because they, they happen to be at the wrong place 
and at the wrong time. And so they get affiliated with the criminals, so they got to go to jail too. That's how people get their reputation ruined. So for some of you, this mature man is someone who you know, okay? And the two of you just, it's a lesson for the both of you, okay? Um, for others of you, it's someone who has passed away. Message. Message of concern. For some of you, you could have been writing complaints and this mature, this mature man saw it. He read the complaints. He read the emails, the report, and it alerted him. Message of concern, message. Whatever you wrote, he read it. Whether it was a review that you made, a report, a complaint, an email, he read it and it alerted him. He's like, mm, something's not right about this place. And that's what it was meant to do. It was meant to alert him so that the two of you can leave. That's why you have coffin. It's an ending that a mature man and a mature woman are going through. The both of you learn the same lesson at the same time. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Change. Yeah. Expectation and change. It's time to go. And maybe you guys were led into this kind of community or area so that you can see how people move, how people work. Now they can't play you. Now you know all the tricks, you know all the tricks, all the schemes, you know it, been there, done that. Yep, you know how the criminals move. You know their tactics and you won't be a victim. You won't be a target to it. Again, look at this bad health. Wealthy man. Toil and labor. Gift. Yeah. Like I said, I don't I don't mean to be repetitive. But like I said, this mature man may be someone who you know, someone who you met in this area, and the both of you are, are aware, we got to go. We're not like these people. We got to go. Um, others of you, this is somebody who is a father or father figure, and in the spirit, they have been guiding you and giving you messages trying to and protecting you as well. Okay? Um, if that's the case, that father figure in the spirit could have passed away from bad health because they, they worked too much with toil and labor. They overworked themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. Um, if you're interested in connecting with me more, definitely check out the description box. All of the information will be there. Um, and once again, I will be doing private phone call readings today, Friday, June 9th. So if you're interested, just go ahead and check out the description box. I'll put the info there. Take care, everyone. Many blessings to you and enjoy your weekend.